Ten seconds remaining. Phantom Assassin. Contributing a lot of time there. Still, well, he's only just hit a bit of XP himself three minutes into the game. And he's going to go for a bit of a rest here onto Funnick. Funnick with the blink available should be fine. Funnick turning this one around, in fact, with art style. Seeing if they can find Fabian there. Looks like this is going to be potentially your first blood. Oh, nice. KP with the deny. Very nice. No first blood for you, Na'Vi. I'm telling you, man, this guy carries, even when he's killing his... Another bouncy rune, certainly helping him on his route to that blink dagger, potentially. Sitting on 700 gold, oh, on top of the ground boost. Oh, art style getting taken down here, nuts with a kill. Now they're going to look for Funnick here. Funnick, he is going to have blink in 10 seconds, but that might be 10 seconds too long as KP chases one down. Will have another rocket brush. Oh, he's not quite got the mana. Yes, he does. With the stick charges, Funnick in a lot of trouble. Trying to duke it out. Doesn't matter, nuts with the stun, enabling the fact that uh, there's no escape for that co-op. Double kill for the line. Very nice play for Phoenix down the bottom lane. I mean, he just bought full Tranquil Boots. Oh, that Fissure. A very rare misplay there in top lane as well. Havos getting dove under the tower. And they're going for a Havos, trying to look for the Jukes here, trying to keep himself oh! alive. Oh, he finds one more! No way! Go. Oh, oh my! I'm reminded of TI3 right now, when his Alchemist basically juked into the trees. Got that potential to dive these towers. Just Artstyle and Unforced at the moment. They're going to look towards Artstyle. Here we go, Fed with the side. That pounce. Very nice done over the tree line. Artstyle getting low, but with the decay, the soul rip, in fact, sorry, keeping himself alive. Now the Fisher trapped no Kyo, but he's got the dance available. He's on the retreat. There's going to be a Spirit Raker coming in to try and help Kyo, and Kyo is just trying to turn and fight here. He's trying to steal the essences away, but Havorst and Snake are on his case. Moving forward, Kyo getting low. He's going to be able to follow up and get himself out. Now rotation for KP coming up to the top lane. Oh, there's the Devil Strike onto the force. They're going to lose Snakeo. They're going to lose Artstyle, and now they may just lose the force. The miss! No, he, oh! March, he wants this. He's got a charge in a second. He's, well, he's just going to hit it here with the right click. Simply TPs out from underneath the tower, but MVP Phoenix. Do they want to try and go for some kind of action onto Denzi? I mean, it'd be a good time. Denzi's about 100 gold away from the Blink Dagger. Who's going to make the first jump? Kind of just walking around each other. Here's KP now with caught up by the Fisher. Dendi actually screwing for Dendi. Getting low, but oh, there, there we go. Oh, what an RP! The RP! Cancelling March's ability to get the Nether Strike off. Now Dendi and Funny, they're trying to fight it. March, he will find the Nether Strike in the bash. They bring down Dendi. March now on the retrieve. Funny chasing this one down. Should be able to find it. Give it the deny to the neutrals. Is it going to happen there? We'll be able to burst him down. Funny with a double kill. 11 to 7, but 3 for 1 in that trade. The question is, did he buy the Blink Dagger before he died? Yes, he did. Yeah. He KB is really nice because you just have that bonus damage output in mid. Gonna see a charge. Uh, he's going for funny. There's the back of a Seneco. Seneco able to get off those fishes to cancel. And there's Dragon March just turns towards where they charge Soda, but Nuts is there as well this time. Seneco will pay off his life of force. Wanting to fight into this one. They're going in. They have got the tombstone down. And oh, massive ult there from Funny. Catching three. Now looking for KP. KP getting low. Will be able to back himself out. Homing missile holding art style in place. Looks like they'll be in. No. They want to go forward for more. Denny and Funny chasing down KP. They'll bring down the gyrocopter. Double kill here for Funny on the Queen of Pain. Cure still hiding on the high ground here. When he's going, Havorce trying to Chase down Fabi, but Fabi will be able to get himself out here with the Invis. Oh, that's a crit and a half there. Qo pounces himself away. The fight recap, of course, two for one trade there. On this bottom lane, applying a little bit of pressure. Arstar coming in, but Qo might just go for this one. He has got the ultimate available, and he's got a blink. He decided to go for the blink, and that blink dagger might just secure him this kill. Going for Arstar here. One more will do it. There we go. Finds the kill. Now pops the ultimate. He's on the retreat. Havorst has turned up to the party. But Qo should be able to juke this one out. At the same time, a bit of a fight going on the top lane, where we saw, well, we didn't see uh, Earthshaker walking into the ground there. Lost his life to a lion. Funnick was able to find the revenge. And Funnick just blinked two heroes down. It's going to be half for I mean, KP's got to be KP. There's going to be... Oh, they want to do it. They this want to try 3v5. It. Here we go. Five back from Slug. Slug's going to be on his way. And KP in the middle of it all. Here we go with the BKP. What can he achieve here? Not a lot because of Vorst turning around. Zobi with the crits. The son of Snaker. Snaker will fall now. QO focusing his attention towards Vorst. Vorst trying to get himself out. Navi, they've already lost three. QO chasing this one down here. And Vorst trying to juke out the pounds. But it doesn't matter because there's a charge coming in from March. There we go. Her force will go down as well. It's a triple kill for KP. And now Funnick, he might just go down as well here on the high ground. Will be able to blink himself away. But now QO with the blink forward. The pounce. The right click. They'll get Funnick as well. It's a full team wipe as Na'Vi hit the deck and MVP now turn their attention towards the Roshan. But, oh, what a, what a minute of play there. The decision making from MVP, from KP, absolutely on point. It's a fight where, again, Shaker doesn't get Echo off and then you have RP. The charge actually hit Dendi when he was mid-RP animation. Like, he tried to go in Funnick and stop March with a charge at the same fight. time. 
They want to fight it, but they're fighting into uh, well, a Roshan that's already dead. There's Seneca with the slam. QO, he might go down, and that is a dieback. If he goes down, no, he's able to live, gets himself up to the high ground. KP, what? What the oh hell is he doing? He's just killing people. There's your Aegis being popped on the high ground. Funny trying to get himself out. March will TP away. What is quite going on here? It's, uh, I've got to say, this is Na'Vi slowly losing what they had initially. I mean, if we have a look at I think they can buy themselves the time potentially to do it. Roshan's now at 50% of health. It's dying too fast, I think. Oh, Dandy. Oh, we might find Ferby. No, Ferby able to ward this one off with the completed guarding Ah, there we go. Funnick will finish him off with the ultimate. They've already lost Seneko here. Artstyle trying to chase him down. Dandy with the haste, but he's getting stunned up. Funnick now being warped. He gets hacked. Oh, oh the crits from her boss. That will be able to find themselves the kill onto Nuts here on the line. KP moving forward. Wants to try and find Dandy and Artstyle now. BKP popped by Vorst. He's finding the bashes as well. Going for KP. KP getting low by March with another strike bash. Holding her boss in place. Her boss trying to chase down KP. And there we go. We'll get it there with the help of Funnick, they find the kill onto KP, and now there's your RP onto March. Her boss going forward as well with the blink. Funnick's there as well. Kiro trying to turn up the fight. Kiro will be able to find the kill. Deadly, Deadly actually pops the BKB there before he dies. Unfortunately, her boss and Funnick, they want to fight Kiro. Can her boss find the bashes? Well, he can't when he can't see him. Kiro with the hits, with the essence shift, do what he can't believe it for. And wants to try to clear this one up. Looks for Funnick. Funnick getting low. Should be able to find it. No, Funnick blinks, denies himself to Roshan. A force with the bashes gets himself an ultra kill. Her force is able to clean up at the end of what an incredible fight between the two sides. And let's have a look at the fight recap. It is Na'Vi coming out on top, thanks to the fact that they were able to take down both KP and QO and Marsh, the three heroes that really do matter at this point. And don't forget poor Natsu. This one, KP with a missile chasing down her force. Febby's there as well with a backup. March is charging in whilst at the same time, Kyo wrapping round. Kyo's gonna find Funnick. In fact, Funnick's not gonna be able to do anything in this fight. Leaves a force. He's hexed up. He's stunned up. A force getting low. Her force is gonna fall. Killing spree here for the gyrocopter. Another kill under KP's belt. And that VP Phoenix saying, oh, you may take a very nice fight around that Roche pit and take the Roche out. But this game is well and truly not. And towards the top lane, Ferby. Yeah, just getting the tracks out here on Seneco. No, it's actually bringing forth. They might be able to find this with a pounce as well. Seneco, he's going to fall. Three heroes down at the moment on the side of Na'Vi. Let's have a look at the buybacks. They're all short okay. of the money to do so. The mid lane's being pushed in. The top lane as well is getting there in terms of creeps. And we there's may no be buybacks. looking at a set of racks going down. Yeah, there's, there's no buybacks. This is just racks. See... Kyo went from having nothing for an MKB to a full MKB in the last couple of engagements. So the amount of money that he got because of track gold pretty much put him over the threshold of being at that point in the game where it's like, okay, maybe Slark isn't that good against PA right now because I don't have that true strike. But now both carries do. So guess what? All of a sudden, Havost, even with a Satanic against double MKB, it's not going to be that good unless you get a nice RP and an Echo. So he's relying now heavily on his team instead of being that self-sufficient hero. And we talked about one Rax. That's double melee. Yeah, the performance here from MVP. Let's see what they can do here. Going straight in on four four. Cell force getting low. RP from Denny, they're gonna control Kuro, but he's got the dark back. He's gonna be fine with the Shadow Dance as well. And now KP moving in. The damage is too much. No, I mean, to get themselves out. A force falls. That's gonna be funny for the down as well. Three, four heroes down. A force fight back. Our style, but he's dead. It's only Dendi and a force that are gonna buy back, but I don't know what they're gonna be able to do without the help of their team. But has got a buyback available here in this situation, but both Art Style and Seneco can't return to the playing field. And MVP off the back of that might be ready to try and force the final third set of melee racks. Here we go on to the tier three. Buyback has come out from Funny, but now Havorce getting caught out here as all nuts as well. He wants some, he goes in here with a hex, finds it to Havorce Funny now, dragged up. Throws the dagger out to uh, Febby, but now KP finds the tier three. Now moving forward, tracks have come around left, right, and center. They've got full vision of the side of Na'Vi. And here we go, QO blinking forward with the bash as well. Funnick will blink himself out now. Havorce trying to fight, but now with the cooldown, Nuts with the sun as well. Havorce, he's going to melt. That's a dieback. Havorce is down. GG is called. MVP Phoenix take the first game in this series. And what a performance from the team that climbed their way up through the wild card. And now here they are in the group stages, taking a game from Na'Vi. What else can you say, man? That that performance from March, like the charge inside of the pit, making sure that Dandy didn't get his RP off. They take a 3v5 at Roshan and win. Like when you're under that much pressure and you're able to make plays like that, it's just a hallmark of a very, very good team. And I don't really think there's any arguing now that MVP, they're good enough to compete with the best. Templar Assassin. Far Dendi, thanks to Seneko's helping hand. Having a grand old time in the mid lane. 14 to 13. 13 denies against QO's 3 and 0. Kuro getting totally crushed. He, he goes down here as well. This is going to be terrible for him. Dendi, you're getting the first blood as well. I don't think this mid lane could have been won any harder.
This is a complete smashing. Like, 16 and 15 with first blood, like... Th this is the dream for a Shadow Fiend. Like, getting a babysit like that... And Bottom lane, there's a bit of action going on as well as a Vorst here moving in onto our March. March trying to charge, getting the bastards onto Arstyle's not going to find it! Oh. Now the Slivering Crush of Vorst holding back Febby. Arstyle's solving up, and Arstyle might just move back in. He's going to have a Brain Sap in a few seconds, if need be. Febby trying to run himself away from Havorst, but there's the Crush. Double kill for Havorst here. And Kuo dies again. Oh, wow. So MVP's entire team... 6.3k gold on the man and looks to be what is going to be yet. The completed Jewel Scepter on his way out as well. 11 minutes in. This man was looking pretty terrifying. Top lane, Funnick was able to... Well, let's find a kill on Jaro. They do lose the bounty on Seth. Funnick might be in trouble as well. Wibbers surge himself, but with the Warriors punch, the cast as well. Holding him in place. There we go. Finishes off there with the snowball. Will be a double kill for Febby. So, we are seeing a favorable trade there. This game is a much more acceptable Midas game. Can they get... Charge? They've got a dust, but Dendi there with the Yules, and now with the Red Grim. Perfect timing. Blows up March here on the Spirit Breaker. Now with the snowball coming on to Dendi. KP's moving in. He's bringing Snake low. Now he's bringing Dendi as well. Dendi's got a haste rune. Might even try and turn this one, he's got the raises as well. Snakeo chasing him down. The dust has come out. Snakeo needs to get himself out. Raises there, finishing off KP on the gyrocopter. Denny looking for more QO with the TP out for the sidelines. Now with the track onto Febby. This is a lot of track gold going the way of Navi. It's going to be a triple kill for Dendi, and it might be more. Yul Scepter holding Witch Doctor in place with the raises, the punches. They'll get him as well. Bane picks that one up, but essentially four heroes falling in quick succession there on the side as of well. MVP. What's going on, Tom? Well, it's QO in a lot of trouble. He's looking for Snakeo, but a force is there to back up Snakeo. They'll bring it down. Bunch trying to go in, but I think you shouldn't do that because of horse. He's got a blink dagger. He might just go for this. Oh, he's not going to go for it. He's not going to go for it, unfortunately. I was hoping for a little bit of ham there from Havorce, but he gave me cold bacon. And, that bottom clear. and then I think the first game was like Fnatic stopping secret, but I think this is even more one-sided than that in mid. Fiend script. Here we go. Hard stuff straight away. The wolf's being dropped as well, making it very hard for MVP to do anything in response. They're not even going to try. QO's just cleaning up this ancient stack here, but it looks like Na'Vi want to go for more here. Ah, Stelz and playing wrapping around, and now with the cast. Ah, this is nice with the death board. Okay, that's going to be one hero down. Can they find Seneco here as well? Seneco's pretty damn tanky, though. The Warriors Punch is going to bring him down low, and will bring him down indeed. That's going to be that Dendi now turning off the fight. Moving the record here from the low ground. March getting low. Can Dendi continue to fight? Yes, they'll find three heroes so far from the side of MVP. Now Dendi blinking forward, looking to get onto QO. QO turning his net toward Funny. Of course, going forward there. They're going to kill him as well. Four heroes down oh, MVP, and they'll be able to clear up the rest of these ancients. Big plays here from Na'Vi. We looked at that lead. It was not nice for MVP Phoenix. It's going to be even nastier now with these Ancients and those kills going the way of the Radiant. So Dendi is going to almost have his PKP after this dies, I think. Okay, they're going to back off. They realize that MVP are now reviving and they don't want to risk it. So they didn't lose too many of the Ancient stack. There's a fight going on. Let's have a look. They bashed him up the high ground. There's a missile chasing him down. I don't know if it's going to be enough to kill him. What level is a missile? It is only level one. Snake should be fine. He's got the Glimmer Cape as well. The dust has come out with a nightmare now to March. Holding back the Spirit Breaker. KP will find the kill. But now, Fiend Grip, Slippery Cross on the raises. KP goes down. March, he's got nowhere to run. He'll fall as well. Godlike Street now for Dendi. They lose Seneco, but they take two back with Vengeance. That would do to stop Na'Vi at this point. The plan is pretty much don't die in top lane. Well, that, that, that's the plan. Well, let's see. Kyo doing a fair bit of damage in return. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh the, uh, the Fiend's Grip there as well. There. It's going to be a charge. Maybe MVP feel that they can fight off the back of this. Going to go for Arthur here, but Arthur's going to the crate. They saw the double just coming out oh, with the Death Ward, but they're just not killing anyone. Her force finds March. The Death Ward might kill her force. It does. They're able to kill her force, which is pretty impressive. The first time he dies this game. Now Nuts and Febby turn to Arthur, but Arthur, with the help of Seneco, should be able to fight this one. Funny setup as well. KP has come in with a very nice cooldown. Can they find anything off the back of this Funnick? Well, they're going to get just able to get himself out of there. No one's going to die here other than her force. MVP do lose three heroes for it, though, across the map, and they'll almost certainly... Well, they're going to lose this Tier 2 here as well. They may even lose KP. There's three heroes, well, just two at the moment chasing it down. Funnick and Seneco. Yeah, it looks like Jari's going to be okay. And Kyo now offering up his life to the gods. Oh, as, uh, boy. There's nothing you're doing to save that TA, I'm afraid. They are going to try and fight into this, though, but by force, popping the BKB, going for March here. The track's on him as well. Now he's going to go and help Seneco here, looking for Pepe. Death Ward has been popped out, but now with a nightmare, cancelling the channeling. There's, uh, well, Dandy here with the Requiem, connecting onto KP. They've lost two, they've lost three. Who is dying? Well, it looks like at the moment Everyone. it's Jara dying. Everyone's dying. Nuts is the only one to live. Nuts has been set. Well, okay, maybe not. Artstyle going forward. Here's Dendi and the gang. Her boss is there as well. Double kill here for the Slardar. 
And, uh, well, 32 for nine. They're onto the tier three here in the mid lane with all the tier twos down elsewhere. I don't think uh, Navi going to be leaving this base anytime soon. Yeah, I think they're going to go ahead and uh, hang up some curtains and stuff, get some some rugs, put it down, make it make it nice yeah, and comfortable. This is their base now. Yeah. Without a doubt. I don't really know. It's like you mentioned. What, what else do you really say? Is Navi just completely crushed them? There's not really much that MVP can do at this Over point. Over 30,000, 23 minutes in. This has got to be one of the biggest advantages I've ever seen in the game. It's got to be a record. In it's got to be close to it, at least, at least in this patch. I don't think differences of this big have been... Because, see, it's, it's very much. rare to see games like this as our style wants to go forward. KP, he doesn't because he just gets taken down immediately. Let's see if they can kill one. They might kill Art Star. No, Glimmer KP, he's going to be fine. Guardian Greaves as well. I don't think they're killing anyone on the side of Na'Vi. And no, they're not indeed. GG is called. Na'Vi will take game two here against Envy. Oh, they lose an Aiko. There we go. They, they find something. Even but, killing uh... the Bounty Hunter with no kill streak was worth 850 gold. Like, that's how big of a net worth difference there was between these two teams. So. Again, it's, it's very uncommon to see games like this because if you're winning that hard, usually the game just ends, right? Like, it, you get like a 20,000 golden experience lead. You can see it at home. And QO now, offering up his life to the gods. Oh, as, boy. Uh, there's nothing you're doing to save that TA, I'm afraid. They are going to try and fight into this, though, but I force popping the BKB. Going for March here, the track's on him as well. Now he's going to go and help Seneca here, looking for Feppy. Death one has been popped out, but now with a Nightmare, cancelling the channeling. There is, uh, well, Dandy here with the Requiem, connecting onto KP. They've lost two, they've lost three. Who is dying? Well, it looks like at the moment Everyone. it's Jara dying. Everyone's dying. Nuts is the only one to live. Nuts has been set. Well, okay, maybe not. Art style going forward. Here's Dendi and the gang. Herbost is there as well. Double kill here for the Slada. And, uh, well, 32 for nine. They're onto the tier three here in the mid lane. With all the tier twos down elsewhere, I don't think uh, Navi going to be leaving this base anytime soon. Yeah, I, I think they're going to go ahead and uh, hang up some curtains and stuff, get some some rugs, put it down, make it, make it nice yeah, and comfortable. This is their base now. Yeah. Without a doubt. I don't really know. It's like you mentioned. What, what else do you really say? Is Navi just completely crushed them? There's not really much that MVP can do at this point. Over 30,000. 23 minutes in. This has got to be one of the biggest advantages I've ever seen in the game. It's got to be a record. In it's got to be close to it, at least at least in this patch. I don't think differences of this big have been... Because, see, it's, it's very rare to see games like this as our style wants to go forward. KP, he doesn't because he just gets taken down immediately. Let's see if they can kill one. They might kill Art Star. No, Glimmer KP, he's going to be fine. Guardian Greaves as well. I don't think they're killing anyone on the side of Na'Vi. And no, they're not indeed. GG is called. Na'Vi will take game two here against Envy. Oh, they lose an Aiko. There we go. They, they find something. Even but, uh... killing the Bounty Hunter with no kill streak was worth 850 gold. Like, that's how big of a net worth difference there was between these two teams. So... Again, it's, it's very uncommon to see games like this because if you're winning that hard, usually the game just ends, right? Like, it, you get like a 20,000 golden experience lead at 20 minutes, the game is just over. Like, every hero on Na'Vi just had such insane GPM. Like, Dendi had 800 almost, Sardar had 600, the bounty hunter who had 16 CS has 500.